Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, everybody, we're going to start the class of today. So first thing, of course, is to check about the platform. This is the class of today. This is the last one of the which, section number three. And here is the question. It's a very important, remember, to finish the platform this week. This is very important. Monday, next Monday, is the last class of this module. 
So please move on with the platform. Uh, and during the weekend, we need to finish the final test. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance as usual. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin López Martinez. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramírez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. OK, so we are going to start the class. I was uh, present, Carmen Yasmin. OK, perfect, good, I'm gonna take on you. Guadalupe, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Guadalupe. Yo también aquí estoy, teacher. Uh, OK, Sandra Romero. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, so we are going to start. And today we're going to, I know that you love grammar. So here we go. It's going to be very easy, this part. Not that complicated. So this is uh, the indefinite pronouns. This is what we are going to check today. So uh, let's see. Guadalupe, could you please help me reading this paragraph? Okay. Uh, then there, then the there the, the, the term. In the in the definitive pronoun means pronouns that they not refer to any person among all things. In definitive pronoun can be singular. And definite pronoun can be sing singular, plural, or both, depending of the context. Very good. So this is the first part. So what we're going to check today are the indefinite pronouns. And the term indefinite pronouns means pronouns that do not refer to any person, amount or thing. So it's not specific. It can be any person, right? Indefinite pronouns can be singular, plural, or both, depending on the context. So this is the first approach. 
So this part are very important. So means pronouns that do not refer to any person, amount, or thing. It's like very general, right? Not specific. And they can be singular, plural, or both. Okay. So we have the first part here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Osmin, could you please read this first part? Okay, teacher. They yeah. use a singular verb after, after an indefinite pronoun. Everybody loves sailing. Everything was ready for the party. The party. Okay. For the party, nice. So yeah. this is the first rule, okay? We use a singular verb after an indefinite pronoun, singular, okay? So everybody loves Sally. Everybody is the indefinite pronoun. Everybody, not specific, everybody, right? Loves, singular verb, loves Sally. Everything was ready for the party. So everything here is the indefinite pronoun. Everything, not a specific thing, everything. So we're going to use after the indefinite pronoun, we're going to use a singular verb. So do you have any question? The first two indefinite pronouns that we check here is everybody and never think. Everybody, not specific people, a lot of people, every single person. Everything is every single thing, right? So, and um, then we have the rule. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Everybody is same, every word, no, no, same. Everybody is similar to everyone. Yeah, it's similar, yeah. yeah. All right. Good. Any question with this little rule? The verb, remember, singular. Questions? Okay, let's check the second rule. Uh, let's see, Jasmine, could you please read the second one there? Sure. Everybody loves Sally. Everything was ready for the party. When we refer back to an indefinite pronoun, we normally use a plural pronoun. Everybody enjoyed the concert. They stood up and clapped. 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 I clapped. I will tell somebody that the dinner is ready. They have been waiting a long time. Perfect, good. So this is the second rule. So here in this example, the indefinite article is a, a pronoun, sorry, is everybody and somebody. So they are indefinite because it's not specific. So when you mention uh, one of these indefinite pronouns, and then in a second sentence, you continue, you refer to that word. And then in the second sentence, that is going to be plural, okay? So for example, the first one, it says, Everybody, that is the indefinite article, everybody enjoy the concert. They, they, everybody, okay? They stood up and clapped. So they is referred to everybody. Everybody can be singular or plural, remember? But when you refer to them in the second sentence, it's going to be always plural. Question, what is stood up? Anybody knows what is stood up? Stood. I don't understand it. What you don't understand? A stood up teacher is when you put on your feet. Very good. Stood up is the pass of stand up. Okay. Yeah. 
So very nice. Yes. Uh -huh. And clap. Do you know what is to clap? clap? And when you put your shoulder. Yeah, very good. When you put your hands together and you clap, right? Hey, we finished the class. You say, we go to bed. So that, something like that one, right? So. Teacher, if these rules are, um, these rules apply in all infinity pronoun. Uh, yes, this is uh, in general for all the indefinite pronouns. Because this somebody in my mind sound the singular. That's the somebody. thing. Because that depends on the on the context. So the same depends word. The context. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody, the same word, it can be singular, it can be plural, it can be both, actually. Yeah. Everybody in my mind is plural. Yeah. Yeah, because it's every single person, right? So it's a group. Maybe because here in Spanish, when we say everybody, that is todos, right? It's all the group. But in English, it can be also every single person, each one of them. So in that case, it's going to be singular in the group. But I mean, it's, it's a little bit different in English. So in this case, the rule is for all of them. I will tell somebody, so the somebody is the indefinite article, I will tell somebody that dinner is ready. They, so they is somebody. They have been waiting a long time. So now we have different indefinite uh, pronouns, right? Everybody, everything, somebody. And we have two rules. If we are going to use an indefinite pronoun, after that one, the verb is going to be in singular. It's not that the, that the indefinite pronoun is singular. The verb is singular. And the second one says that when you refer to an, in a second sentence, when you refer to the indefinite pronoun, that word is going to be, we're going to refer them uh, for them in plural. So that is it. Do you have any questions so far? Questions. No questions, teacher. Good. That is, it's, it's going to be very easy, you know. Well, I believe it's easy. I don't know. So let's see. Negative clauses. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Um, Ada, Patricia, Linares, could you please help me with this one? Okay. In negative clauses, we use pronouns with, with no, not pronouns with any. Anybody came not uh, we do we do not use another negative in a clause with nobody, no one or nothing. Nobody came, not nobody didn't came. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing happened, not nothing didn't happen. Okay, so this is for the negative. I believe that you know this already. So we use uh, pronouns with no not pronounce with any. So that is the first one. We are not going to use any. For example, the first one is nobody came. Anybody is not covered here. Anybody didn't come is not covered. We need to use nobody or no one, okay? Something like that is correct. So any not possible with negative context, okay? Negative clauses. Remember when we use nobody, we don't have to use an auxiliar like didn't or doesn't because nobody is negative already, okay? It's like in Spanish. In Spanish, we don't say nadie no vino. We say nadie vino. It's exactly, exactly the same. So, and that is actually the second one it says, we do not use another negative in a clause with nobody, no one or not. So we say nobody came. So it's not with the negative. And we're going to say nothing happened. Do you have any questions about, about this one? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. 
So now, no questions? Are you sure? Okay, if you don't have any questions, let's move on. So let's see if this is a big one. No, it's not a big one, well, a little bit, okay. So Sandra Romero, could you please help me with this one? Which one, teacher? Everything that is there in front. Okay. The first part, the first we, part, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. We can add S to an indefinite pronoun to make a positive. They were staying in somebody's house. Is this anybody's code? Okay. We use else after indefinite pronouns to refer to other people or things. All the family came, but no, no one else. If Michael can come, we'll ask somebody else. I think this somebody else called. Good. So uh, this is very something that we use already, right? Where we can add the apostrophe and the S, so we can uh, make this a positive. Okay, because remember that this is a pronoun, so we can use that one. So, for example, they were staying in somebody's houses. So somebody is the indefinite pronoun, and we can use possessive with them. Is this anybody's code? So again, anybody is the indefinite pronoun, and we are going to use the, we can use this with the possessive, okay? So that is it. That part is kind of easy. And also we can use else after an indefinite pronoun to refer to other people or things. So for example, all the family came, but no one else. No one is the indefinite article. And we can use else, no one else, no other people came, okay? If Michael can come, will ask somebody else, so somebody else. I think this is somebody else's code. Ah, this is a nice one because we have the two together, okay? I think this is somebody else's code. Do you have any questions with this? No questions. Clear as our chat. Actually, it's kind of it's kind of easy. It's not that difficult. Of course, we're going to check here as well in the grammar of the book. So, how to use indefinite pronouns? Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Okay, Gloria, could you please read this one, the chart? Uh, you can use your pronoun to refer to one or more and a specific object, people or place. They are called in the in the infinity because they don't indicate the exact object person or place to which they make reference. Continue? Yes, please. Okay, nobody likes to be bombarded uh, with ads and pop up, pop up. Is anybody working as a community manager, uh, community manager in the company? Uh, somebody in the company like to read our month, monthly articles. Any anyone know about search engine? Optimization or uh, optimization? optimization. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 days. Okay. no, one pays attention uh, to do advertising. Be sure the bird that accompanies the in the in the in the indefinite indefinite pronoun. So it's in singular form. Very good. So that is it. So indefinite pronouns refer to one 
or more unspecified object, people or places. So they are called indefinite because they don't indicate the exact object, person or place to which they make reference. So that is it. Is in general, not specific. And uh, those are the rules. So the most important is that we're going to use an indefinite, I mean, a singular verb after the indefinite pronoun. The first one says, nobody likes, that is important. Nobody likes to be bombarded with ads and pop-ups. Do you know what is a pop-up? It's not a pop tart, which are delicious, but it's a pop up. What is a pop up? In your no initial opinion. Hello, anybody knows what is a pop up? Today you are very shy. Okay, a pop-up is like when you, uh, when you are navigating the website and then uh, some advertisement pop up. So it's like you're there and something pop up. It's like a little message or something for you to click or anything like that. That is a pop up. So that is it. The other one it says is anybody is. That part is important because it's singular. Is anybody working as a community manager in your company? Okay, we know what is a community manager already. The next one says somebody in the company likes to read likes. Okay, that is important. Likes to read our monthly article. The next one says anyone, so anyone knows, singular verb, knows about search engine optimization nowadays. Do you remember what is nowadays? Today, teacher. Today, in the actual days, right? In the current time, something like that. Very good. Good. And the last one says, no one pays, pays, singular, attention to dull advertising. Uh, do you know what is dull? Not dull, right? Dull are like Roxana, I remember that. But dull, what is dull? Anybody? Okay, uh, this is an uh, adjective that is like not relevant, boring, things like that. It's disturbed, teacher. It's disturbing something that is like, Sorry. yeah, it's, you are concentrating there, like when we are watching the videos in YouTube, right? And suddenly they say purchase this, oh, we, we don't want that. So that is it. Be sure the verb that accompanies the indefinite pronouns uh, are in singular form. So that is what we have checked out. Do you have any question? Anybody? Oh, okay. Excuse me, teacher. I have clear uh, what is dull. And the dull is something that is, it's not good. It's like annoying. It's something that is not interesting. It's something that is disturbing your peace. Oh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question before we continue? Question. No questions, clear as or chata. So we're going to check the number five. Exercise, it says, 
circle the correct word. Compare your answers with a partner. So it's going to be very easy. Nobody reads or reads the magazine. What do you think? Reads. Reads. Good. Reads. Nobody reads the magazine. Good. Number two, it says, anybody from the office can help or helps? Helps. 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 Very good. Anybody from the office can help um, you with the required comment. Hmm. Can helps. What do you think about that? How do you listen to that one? Anybody from the office can helps. Uh, can help you. Yeah, in this case, it's so, can help because there is a model, right? Yes. The model is the main verb there. So, can help. Very good. Number three, somebody is or are trying to unlock the password to our web page. Is. Is. Very good. The, our web page. Uh -huh. It's not related to the plural teacher, no. No, this one is going to be is. Even if the sense of the sentence is plural, it's always going to be singular, the verb. So the verb is going to, not going to be related with somebody. Somebody can be plural. Is is going to be always the verb because this is an indefinite article. I mean, pronoun, I'm sorry. Okay. So yeah, somebody is trying to unlock the password to up, uh, our web page. Unlock, what is unlock? Without lock. Without <laughs> lock, okay. <laughs> it's to open, right? Okay. When yeah. you lock something, for example, when you lock the door, it's because you put the key and you turn that five times if you want and you lock everything. And the opposite is to unlock so you can open, right? So somebody is trying to unlock the password to our webpage. Mm, so those are hackers, be careful. Number four says, does anyone think or thinks? Thinks. Okay, yeah, it's think because we have the auxiliary here, dots. So in this one is going to be, does anyone think this is a good project? Okay, good. And the number five, it says, no one uh, writes or write. 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 Writes, very good. No one writes the new articles for the guest post of the week. Very good. Okay, do you have any questions about this one? Why singular? It's a rule, it's grammar. So we're going to use always singular verbs after or whenever we're using an indefinite pronoun. So it's just a rule, it's grammar. Teacher, in the, in the number five, what is the correct? Right, with S. Okay. Okay. S. With S. Yep. Any other question? Okay. So now we're going to uh, do the exercise number six. Actually, today we are going to do the exercise. Uh, we are going to describe. Not in 10 lines, 10 lines is too much. Maybe four, five lines, okay? Um, ways in which social media marketing is helping businesses. Um, I don't believe this is a very interesting topic. Let's do it open, okay? Please write a little paragraph, three lines, four, five if you want. Um, about anything that you may want, but try to include at least three, three indefinite pronouns, okay? I will give you some time, you write, 
and then you are going to tell the class. Is it clear what you are going to do? Questions about the task that we're going to do right now? Today you are very shy. I don't know what happened. I don't know clear rules. Okay. Three or five lines for the paragraph. Yeah. Okay. So everybody's going to write a paragraph. Three, four lines about anything. The only thing is that you need to include in the paragraph three indefinite article, like anybody or somebody or no one or anything like that. Is it clear? Only, only uh, others uh, words are are bears indef indefinite. I mean, you can use uh, any indefinite article, like anybody, somebody, uh, no one, anything, something, any of those. Why, why are bears indefinite? No verb, they are indefinite pronouns. For indefinite pronouns, why? why? I don't get your question to be honest with you. <laughs> How why? Mm, uh, how, how to... Como reconozco que son uh, pronouns, indefinite pronouns? Lo de indefinite pronouns son nobody, anybody, somebody, anything. Okay, okay, ah, okay. Those are. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Any other question about the task? <laughs> Okay, I will give you a few minutes. Of course, if you have questions, you can ask me, okay? And I will be here. I will leave that in front, but of course you can use any indefinite article. So there are many, there are others if you want to. So go ahead.
have you finished or do you need more time? Hello. Do you need more time? A few more minutes, maybe five more minutes. You finished, teacher. You finished. Very good. And the rest of the class? Maybe they need Please one more time, teacher. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna wait, don't worry. Thank you. Okay, have you finished? Let's check. Let's see how it goes. Remember that the verb has to be in singular. Of course, you can use simple past or future or anything that you may want to use. Uh, let's check first, Amanda Selmi. Pay attention and place. Uh, if you have questions, of course, you can ask. Yeah, I'm not sure that. I have my paragraph right, teacher, I'll try it. I'm very sure. Somebody of my team can help me, can help me, help me to complete the tax report, please. Everybody are in process. They need more working hours. Everybody is in process. Um, Including when I uh, speak the everybody, I refer to the tax report because they need more working hours. It's easy, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Everybody is. Yeah. In process. That is it. Good, perfect, nice. Thank you. Now, Ada Patricia. Teacher, oh no. No finish yet. Sorry, no finish. Okay, I'll be back with you. Osmin. Excuse me, teacher. We have probably here no finish. Two. Not possible. Teacher, excuse me, no, it's possible in this moment. Ah, okay, don't worry, not a problem. Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe. Not here, getting some coffee. Sandra Gladys. No, no. Why? No, not? only, only, only. Una. Okay, tell one. me that one. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. Nobody plays the Sunday for the morning. Nobody plays on Sunday morning. That's good. Perfect. That's good. Nice. Uh, let's see Sandra Romero. Hello, Miss Romero. Not possible. Okay, Gloria. I can. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, teacher. I can. No. Only one or nothing. 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 I have a, a phrase, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Find someone who makes your heart smile. Very nice and very sweet. Very good. Perfect. <laughs> uh, Zulma? No, not possible. Wilfredo? Let me check, teacher. I don't be sure, but I am going to try. Of course. Um, for example, someone can increase their the sales uh, using social media, okay. or um, nobody nobody can get the same result. And working, for example, talking about sales, and if without social media if we compare with another people that uh, for example are using it okay very good perfect that's perfect nice let's see carla vasquez no but it's here today Susana, I guess it's not possible, Susana, right? Hi. Okay, go ahead. I can listen to all, but only only make two. Okay, that's fine. Do you know anyone? Good. And no one will take him home. Okay, perfect. Those are very nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see, uh, Jasmine. Maybe um, no one goes to the party because nobody cleans the house. Good, perfect, nice. Uh, Ricardo. Not possible. Ophelia. Hello, teachers. Ah, okay. Did you do the, the paragraph or the sentences or the phrases? I, I, I don't be 
uh, already is is a, a, a place Mm, basketball. Mm. Only that? Uh -huh, go ahead. And the magazine. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Um, Nelson, is possible for you? No, teacher. No, no possible. Okay. Teacher, sure. hello. Hello, yeah, tell me. Okay. <laughs> okay. And my partner would say, hello, in the house, someone, someone did tell the truth because oh, huh? someone did remember to turn off the TV. And this is some what difficult point, but I have it's a little clearer now. Okay, yeah, that's good. I mean, you can use the auxiliary, that is not a problem. Perfect, thank you. Um, Walter. Excuse me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Mm, I guess not possible. Pamela. Is it possible for you, Pamela? Did you do it? Okay, a rose. I'm going to try, teacher. Sorry, okay. but I can't turn off my camera. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe um, nowadays, uh, anyone is thinking how to how to oh my god how to make a how to make her own business on the social media nobody wants to wants to be out of the business maybe very good perfect that is nice very good okay 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 Jose Ernesto good evening teacher Good evening. Were you able to complete the paragraph or sentences? Or... Yes, yes, sir. I try. Okay. Uh, no, what nowadays nobody is exempt from looking at ads on social networks. Good. No one imagines the power of search engines and the way they analyze our act our action and preference. Oh, that was very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Lourdes, were you able to finish the paragraph? Maybe not. Okay. Not a problem. So, I guess some of you didn't understand. Yo creo que algunos no captaron mucho esto. Es fácil. Con los indefinite pronouns, simplemente hay que saber qué son los que dicen nobody, anybody, somebody, anyone, no one. El verbo va en singular. That's it. There's no other thing. Just mean. Uh, also, tam, also apply um, anywhere, any, anywhere? Anywhere, yeah. Okay. So yeah. they can, beginning with any, we can use, right? Uh, yes, okay. when it's something like body or any or one, no one. Is it that is an indefinite pronoun because it's not referring to a specific person, so that is it. Okay, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, as I told you in Spanish, it's very, very, very easy. Anyways, we're going to continue. We did this already, and we're going to arrive to unit number four. But before that happens, we are going to Check the attendance, my friends, because it's almost nine. 
Almost nine, almost nine. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamed. Decent teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Eh, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López yeah. García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo. Present teacher. Good. Learning. No worries. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Good. Okay, so today we're going to start the unit number four. Number four, number four. Here is the, the number four. Okay, so it says unit four. This one is trends in e-commerce. Do you remember what is trends? What is trends? Innovation. In, for innovation, you can get a trend, yeah. Maybe the line, the how is the behavior or what is the test, the test now, what is the what is the the actual change. The trends. Very good. Yeah. A trend is like a pattern yeah. that you can analyze. Go ahead. Actually. Thank you, teacher. Only that. Thank you. Okay. Very good. So, yeah, a trend is like a pattern that you can analyze or check about how it's going on, on something, in this case, in e commerce. So, and it says in this unit, I will be able to compare characteristics on a, well, it says M-commerce, but it's e-commerce worldwide to its characteristics in the national market. Okay, sounds very professional. Let's start. It says, everybody, question for you. How important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? So if you have a company, that has business online, do you believe that is very important or how important it is to have an application, an app for this? Yes, very important. Why? Uh, all, all the company, I have a, I have a app for competition in the, in the merchandise. Okay, very good. Yeah, it's a very good way for you to be more competitive. You are so right. Nice. Any other comments? I think it's very important. 
Why? Because we don't have, we don't have time. We are very busy and, and we need make the stuff quickly. Very I good. think. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's very easy when you download an app and you just look things there, right? Instead of internet. Another question for everybody. Are smartphones the future of online commerce? What do you think? The actually, the actually teacher smartphone. Actually, it's are, not in the future, but right now, right? Online commerce. Very good. Yeah. I told right you. now, right now, teacher, it is it is um it is a important um tool to get some product um no necessary physical in the market um, because we can we can get it online using a good smartphone and of course uh, using uh, some apps to to get it very good yeah actually that is true right nowadays it's, it's very very convenient for the companies to offer their products and also for the for the customers that wants to purchase i mean i you know, I really enjoy going. I, I have this application that is AliExpress and uh, I enjoy, I, I have a hundred articles in the, in the cart. Of course, I just purchase one or two, right? But it's very nice to look around and find things that you cannot buy here in El Salvador. So maybe the only problem is that I have to wait three months for, for me to get that one, right? Okay, so let's check about number two. It says, Elsa wants to purchase a book online, but she's having trouble to check out. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it with a partner. So uh, I'm going to check about the conversation, the pronunciation, and then uh, you are going to, of course, ask about pronunciation, and then you are going to uh, check uh, or, or practice the conversation actually. So here we go. It says, Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to bookshop. To the, uh, I'm sorry, it says, I better go. It has to be two. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in the website. So, do you have any pronunciation question? Oh, teacher is here. No questions. Type no teacher, teacher, type it in. Type. Uh, uh, type in. Type in. Type. Type. Type in. And the uh, three Pasa. Elsa. Uh, entering. 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 Uh, entering. Uh -huh. So, entering. I remember entering. Uh -huh. Okay. Bookshop, teacher? Books, bookshop? Bookshop. Bookshop? Bookshop. Any other question? Developers. Developers. Twice, teacher, or twice? Twice. Twice. Six, six, five, six. Uh, physical. 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 Physical copy, yeah, physical. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we are going to practice. 
Let's see. Uh -huh. We're going to start with Susana and Ada Patricia. Okay. Hello, Ada Patricia. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. I start. Sí. Yes. Okay, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Alex, I am trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I am not sure I am getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already a typing, but you need to add your, excuse me, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the process. Do I have to do I twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a psych a physical. copy. Physical copy. That's good. I guess it looks like the software the software developers make check out too complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Good, perfect. Now it's going to be Osmin and Gloria. Okay. Okay, I Elsa. Right. Okay. I'm trying to purchase a book from up from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Okay, let me see. Will it seem the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase? Uh, do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated for uh, for them about it. I better go to bookshop bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess it looked like the, the software developers may check out to comp complicate for the end user. I will leave some. Uh, feel, feedback in their website. Good, very nice. Now, uh, Sandra Gladys and Anna Salmi. Hi, Sandra. Hi. Are you Elsa? Okay. Alex, I am trying to purchase a book from the app store but I am not sure I am getting, getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated, forget about it, about it. I better go to bookshop and get a, a, a physical copy. Physical. Physical copy. That's good, I guess. I looks like to the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Very good, nice. Now it's going to be Wilfredo and Sandra Romero. Okay, will you start? Hello, Sandra Romero. I guess it's not possible. Um, Carla Vasquez, can you please help? Okay. 
I'm Elsa. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your, your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers made checkout too complicated for the end user. And we'll, and we'll leave some feedback in their website. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Zulma and Jasmine. Could you start, Zulma? All right, start. I guess it's not possible for Zulma. Okay, so uh, Ricardo. Help, please. Okay. I will start. And Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I am not sure. I am getting this right. Okay, let me see. Will the this same this credit card number is already tied in both? Uh, let me see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me see. With the save the credit card number is already typed in by you new. To I I did you home address to you a code or you want the be able to complete the purchase? Do I have to do it twice? Remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. For it about it, I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess I look like the software the develop my day check to complicate for the usual I will learn some feedback in their head basin. Okay, very good, perfect. Now Ophelia and Nelson. Teacher. Okay. okay. You start, Ophelia? Yes. Alice, I am pleased to push I, I book I phone days up at the store. I bus in not a suri. I am hurting I this read. Let me see. Where it seemed to it seemed the credit card number is already typed. Typed in. But you need to add your home address to your account or you want to able to complete the purchase. I don't have I do do is a reason I remember entering I mean former address I favorites I this is so complex complex I for box is I bear I go I the box box show and grace a a pretty car copy. That's good. It's good. It's look at it. It's so good. The developer made it check out too complicated for the use for an end user. I will have some feedback in their website. 
Okay, very good, perfect. And now uh, let's see, Walter and Rose. Okay. Okay, Walter. You, you start. Okay, okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure. I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it's in the credit card and numbers are well. I type it if I need to and your name address to your account or you want or you want be able to complete the purchases. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. I look uh, like software and uh, developers and make a check, a check it out a complete for the new user. And we at least some celebrate in their website. Okay, very good. Now, Jose Ernesto and Lourdes. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Me, Elsa. Yeah. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in. Type in. But okay. you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Pamela, are you here with us, Pamela? Okay, I guess nobody else is missing. Nobody's missing, right? Okay. Okay, Guadalupe, could you please help uh, Guadalupe, uh, Wilfredo? Hi, sir. Uh, yeah, let me check. Uh, Wilfredo, can you please help? Hello, I guess he can hear or something. Uh, Ada Patricia, could you please help Guadalupe? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Alex, I am trying to, to push a book from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typing, but you need to add your, uh, your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This, uh, this is so complicated, forget about it. I, be I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's cool, I guess. It looks like to software developers may check out too complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in, in their web, website. Very good, perfect. So yeah, there are not many words with problems. So remember that this one is purchase, okay? Purchase, uh, let's see, type in, 
uh, able, won't be able twice physical and that is it i don't think there are many others so let's check some vocabulary what is let's see to type what is type that is the past of course but what is type anybody type Mm. Uh, like a, a write very good it's like when you write on the computer cell phone or anything like that so that is to type good uh, let's see um, do you remember what is twice two times two times very good nice uh, what is a bookshop Store the books? Yeah, it's a bookstore. I mean, it's where you buy bookstore. That is different from the library, right? In the library, you don't buy books. You go and get some books, read, and put it back. So that is it. Physical is the same as in Spanish. The only difference is that the writing here is kind of different, but that's the only thing. Let's see what else. Okay, this is a good one. Check out. What is check out? Is the moment the exit? Very good. Yeah, the checkout is whenever you are going out or getting something out from something, right? And the opposite is the chicken, definitely. Do you have any questions on this conversation? Okay, so we're going to make the exercise here. It says, what is Elsa trying to do? What is Elsa trying to do? She's trying to purchase a book. Very good, it's trying to purchase a book. From the app nice. store from the app store. So that is different, right? So it's trying to purchase a book from the app store. And then there's question number two, it says, what is the problem with the purchase? Uh-huh. What is the problem with that? She has some problems and she thinks that it's too complicated. <laughs> that is it. I mean, she has to enter the address and yes. she remembered uh, she, she entered those before. Before. Uh -huh. And she says, ah, oh, this is too complicated. Forget about it. And that happens. Actually, that is true. Uh, I, say, I say that one, one in anything in one moment of my life. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I mean, whenever it's something you need to repeat or you're clicking is not going through, I mean, you are like, oh my goodness, this is too complicated, right? I, I won't, I won't do this. Whatever. So, what is Elsa going to do? She prefers go to the store. She prefers to go to the store to the brick and mortar. Yeah, it's better for her. So, and uh, number four says, 
what does the eShop need to do to make their software more user-friendly? What do you think? What do the business have to do so everything is more user-friendly? This is an opinion on your side. Save maybe the information, maybe. I'm sorry. Save the information. Yeah, to be sure that if uh, the customers enter the information, they just need to confirm or anything like that. One. Good. And uh, somebody was going to say something different. No, maybe she, maybe the the customer, um, uh, the e shop. Sorry, maybe the e shop need to to make the the app store more friendly, more yeah, easy, easy to use. Uh -huh. Yeah, easy right. to use. Yeah, that is very important. Whenever you're doing this, some people they are very techy and they know what to do, no matter what happens. But some other people. They just need to open, look for something and purchase. Simple, right? Very, very simple. Yes, in my opinion, teacher, mm -hmm. it's important that the process uh, must be clear and simple. Very good, that is it. Yeah, it has to be clear and simple. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna go to the uh, next page, building vocabulary. It says match the expressions related to m-commerce to the right descriptions. Compare your answers with a partner. And we have uh, seven, seven words that we need to identify which ones are those. The first one it says social media platforms. So I guess you know what is that, of course. Mobile banking, also I guess you know. Digital purchases. Digital currencies, oh, this is something good. Mobile ticketing, portability, and ubiquity. Okay, so we are going to read one by one, and then we're going to check what is the answer, what is the correct expression, what is the correct word for the, the ones that we have there, okay? So, um, Osmin, could you please read the first one? It's okay, teacher. The chases for digi digital for digital goods come that directly from uh, within and and the shop. Very good. So purchases for digital goods completely directly from within an e shop. So what do you think is this? The digital purchase. Digital purchases, I agree, yeah. Digital purchases, because you purchase for digital goods completely directly from within an e-shop. An e-shop is like a, a website, right? Uh, digital goods, what do you believe uh, everybody what is a digital good? What do you think is a digital good? Digital. Maybe a license or a, a game for a PlayStation, I think. That is something that is a digital good, yeah. Something yeah. that are for for digital usage, right? Yeah. Good, perfect. Uh, okay, the number two is going to be for Guadalupe. The, uh, we, can, we can hear you well. Okay. Uh, the the green to be uh, uh, can be. Successfully moved from one domain to another. 
Very good. So the degree to which an entity can be successfully moved from one domain to another. So um, maybe the first question here is degree. Anybody, what is degree? The level. The level, very good. The level. It's like a level on which somebody moves something, okay? So in this case, is the degree to which an entity can be successfully moved from one domain to another. Uh, another question maybe here is, what is domain? Do you know what is a domain? Okay, the domain is like the website, right? Like google.com or uh, inglescorporativo.com, something like that. So what will be the answer for this one? The degree to which an entity can be successfully moved from one domain to another. What can be that? Is the portability. Portability, very good. Of course, is the portability, nice. The number three is going to be for Gloria. Hello, Gloria. Number three, they enable the development, deployment, and management of social media solutions and services. Okay, very good. So uh, they enable the development, deployment, and management of social media solutions and services. So you know what is development, right? When they are thinking and they are testing and they are making some code, the deployment is when you launch. And then the management is whenever you have everything in process in operations and you are changing things, improving things. So now the question is, what is the answer for this one? They enable the development, deployment, and management of social media solutions and services. What might be this one? Number one, I, I think social, social media, media platform. Social media platform. Yeah. Of course, social media platform, very good, nice. Um, number four is going to be for, um, let's see, Susana. Okay, the process where big customers can obtain tickets using mobile phones. Very good, the process whereby customers can obtain tickets uh, using mobile phones or mobile phones. So what I is think, that one? Uh -huh. I think it's number five, mobile ticketing. Very good, mobile ticketing. That is it, nice, that's easy. Uh, the next one and number five is going to be for Sandra Romero. Okay, teacher, a mobile, bueno, the characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all times. Very good. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I was just going to repeat. Yeah, what is the characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all times? Um, social media platforms. We took that already actually, that is not possible. I don't know, teacher. No problem. We're going to ask your friends here. Everybody, what is the answer for that one? Table. Maybe Google Cryptocurrencies? Um, no, it's not is that it, one. Is it ubiquity, ubiquity. Very good. That is ubiquity. 
So something that is ubiquity is something that is everywhere at the same time, at all times. So that is ubiquity. Very good. Now let's go to number six. That is going to be for Carla Vasquez. Number six is referred to the use of a smartphone to perform online baking tasks. Okay, it refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. What is the answer for that one? Mobile banking. Mobile banking. Very good. Mobile banking. Nice. And then we have the last one. That is going to be four. Let me just check. Just me. Um, you be uh, ubiquity. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce it. Can you help me, please? Ubiquity is the pronunciation. Ubiquity. Mm -hmm. Ubiquity. Um, ubiquity um, is like quality. Actually, we know? we just say that one. That is, uh, when something is available everywhere at all times. Uh, but you need to read what it says, any means. Um, any means of payment that exists really in electronic form. Okay. Any means of payment that exists uh, purely in electronic form. Digital currencies. Very good. That is digital currencies. currencies. Uh, what is an example for that one? Uh -huh. Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoins is uh, an example of this. Definitely. That is something for this. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, do you have any questions about this? Okay. It says group work online and find information. Now, whatever do this. And let's move on on this one. Okay. So it says, I will be able to compare future retail trends worldwide to the trends in national markets. Mm, that, that is kind of very high level. Compare future retail trends worldwide to the trends in national markets. So uh, in the number one, it says, let's start. So what are everybody? What are some changes that retail stores have adopted in recent years? What do you think? Mm, the use of the... Uh, no, no, no. Just, just. Okay. So what are some changes that retail store have adopted in recent years? For delivery? Yeah, definitely delivery now is different, right? I mean, here in El Salvador, a lot of motorbikes, a lot of people doing delivery. In the US, there are some companies that they are using drones already for delivery. So delivery is one important thing. Any other changes that have you seen? That use the social media? Definitely, that is a big change. I mean, social media right now is huge, right? I mean, Instagram, uh, TikTok, I mean, they do lots of things. So good. Uh, the next question, everybody says, how do you think retail stores will be in the future? Mm -hmm. They use new uh, social media, for example, uh, metaverse. I'm sorry, for example, which one? Uh, metaverse. Yeah, that is true. It's the metaverse. New, new, social. That is true. That is something that definitely might be happening. I totally agree. Any other uh, idea on how it's going to be in the future, the retail stores?
no more. Okay, so we're going to check the uh, building vocabulary number two. It says match the words and expressions to their corresponding description. So this is more of the same, right? Brick and mortar business, of course, you know what is that? Clicks and mortar, uh -huh. e workforce, e tailing, e wallets, multi channel shopping. Those are the six words that we're going to try to find here. What are they? So the uh, first one is going to be for Nelson. Nelson, could you please read the first one? Not possible, I guess. Uh, Ophelia, could you please read the first one? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, yeah, please read here where it says software. Uh, software I, I does store personal and credit, credit card inform, information. I for one six reservoir. Reuse. Okay. So look, look what it says here software that stores personal and credit card information for one click reuse. So what can be that one? Anybody? Clean and mortar. Clicks and mortar. Clicks and mortar, exactly. Everybody agrees? Okay. So yeah, clicks and mortar, that is it. The next one is going to be for, let's say, um, Walter. It, it is the selling or telling goods on the internet. Okay, it is the selling of retail goods on the internet. So what is that? Anybody knows or wants to give an opinion? E wallet. Mm, it's not e wallet. Multi channel shop. E tailing, okay. E tailing, yeah. It's like retailing, but it's e uh, online, right? So, very good, nice. And number three is going to be for Jose Ernesto. Not possible, Jose. Lourdes, could you please read the next one? Okay. Um, business. Businesses, yeah. Businesses that complete most of their business activity activities at a physical location. Very good. Mm -hmm. Businesses that complete most of their business activities at a physical location. What is that? Maybe brick and mortar business. Perfect. That is it. Brick and mortar business. Nice. Now, uh, the next one is going to be for, uh, let's see, Adriana. Okay. Offering customer a variety of platforms from which they are able to purchase products. Very good offering customers a variety of platforms from which they are able to purchase products. So which one is this one? Mm, Multi-channel shopping. Very good, Adrian, nice. So this is multi-channel shopping. Okay, the next one is going to be for Pamela. No, Pamela, okay. Anna Salmi. 
Number five, sí. teacher. Yeah, please. The wallet. The, the other is the use the both the internet and buildings to conduct business. Okay, the use of both uh, the internet and buildings to conduct, I mean, and buildings to conduct business. Which one might be this one? Multi-channel shopping, no. Uh, no, we got that already. I guess this one is clicks and mortar. So the other one was- This is uh, clicks and mortar? Yeah, I guess this one is because it's a combination of clicks and motor. It's for both. Okay. Good. And the last one is going to be for rows. Not possible. Okay. So let's see. Wilfredo. The last one. Yeah, please. People hire to work with computers while doing business. Good. So people hire to work with computers while doing business. Which one is that one, everybody? E work. E workforce. Definitely. E workforce. That is e workforce. Very good. Perfect. Now we have more vocabulary. Nice. And it says, number three, read the following trends. So these are trends that are taking place in retail stores. Run the trends from one to five, indicating which will be more important in future years. So, so what we're gonna do is to check what will be more important in the future. So that is kind of interesting. So we're going to read one by one. Um, Ada Patricia, could you please read the first one? Uh, store stores provi providing unit in store experience will be more successful. Okay, so the first trend is stores providing unique in store experiences will be more successful. So, what do you understand on this one? Anybody? Okay, it means that maybe in the future is going to be very successful that customers go to the physical stores and get a unique experience just for you, something like that. Okay, the next one is going to be for, let me just check, hold on a second. Osmin. Okay, teacher, the tailor across the world will adapt mobile payment solution. Very good. Retailers across the world will adopt mobile payment solutions. Um, what do you understand on this one? On your own words, everybody. I guess this is happening already, actually. When you go to stores, even in physical stores, you can pay with mobile applications, right? With a phone. So in the US, in Europe, it's possible now for you to pay with the phone and that's it. That is it. So the next one is going to be for Guadalupe. Okay, return uh, will set a small, smaller store to to be able to compete with bigger corporation. Very good. So retailers will set smaller stores to be able to compete with bigger corporations. So, well, I don't, I'm not sure about this one. Yeah, but it might be a solution. So retailers will get 
well, here in El Salvador, the stores are very small, actually. The, the, I mean, the stores for retailers, right? Yeah, might be. Uh, the next one is going to be for Gloria. Okay. Uh, shipping portion in the same day will be the norm. Okay. So shipping purchases in the same day will be the norm. Mm, that might be very good. That means that you purchase today and today you receive the product. Oh, that should be amazing. It's not possible right now. Only for the food or things that, I mean, you are very close on the stores. Any, any other way is not possible. And the last one is going to be for Carla Vasquez. Um, retailers will need to take advantage of up service and third parties of fulfill the need of mother shoppers. Good. So retailers will need to take advantage of apps, services, and third parties to fulfill the needs of modern shopping. So more logistics, right? More people involved mm -hmm. in the products. So that is it. So we have uh, five options. Which one of these one do you believe will be the more important in the future? What do you think? Hello. Hello, anybody? Which one might be the first one? In your opinion, remember that it's just an opinion, my friends. For me, teacher, the more important uh, is the store providing unique in store experience will be more successful. For me, okay. so so more the first, important. Uh, more important. Okay, that is a very good opinion. Uh, yeah, I mean, if if you are going to go to the physical store, definitely you are going to be you, you are expecting something very nice, a very nice experience. So, okay, we say that that is the first one. Number one is the stores providing unique in-store experiences will be more successful. Which in one will be- In my opinion, teacher, uh -huh. the other issue is important that the retails across the world with adopt mobile payment solution. And uh, for, Two points. The one, the customer must must gain. Um, if you say, a confiance, trust. Trust, okay. Trust for paying for the way the payment in, in online. <laughs> and the other, um. The, the process of the payment must be free without commission. 